All right, man, so today we finally got new Marilyn Manson, which hasn't happened in years. I've never covered any of his albums on the channel before, uh, but back in like freshman year to sophomore year, I listened to so much Marilyn Manson, man. There was a point in like sophomore year that I would listen to his full discography, Portrait, all the way to uh, Pale Emperor, which was the most recent album, literally every single day, start to finish his whole discography. So I've heard all of his albums uh, so, so many times, like it's insane. I know all the lyrics, the track lists off the top of my head, everything like that. Basically obsessed in like late middle school, early uh, high school, man. I even got Hollywood behind me. I don't know if you can see his arm right there. So I've of course been keeping up with this uh, new album, the teaser, uh, the new label, everything like that. And his tour starts today and everyone was saying that the new song was going to come out today and it looks like it did. Uh, so I am super excited for it, especially because it's over five minutes long. And I got tickets to this tour later on in August, so I'm super excited for that shit. Bam, man, I could ramble on about his discography all day, dude. So let's just get into this, man. Everything surrounding this album is really reminding me of Hollywood, and I think a lot of other people are thinking the same thing. Um, and that is incredible because Hollywood is probably my favorite album by him. It's very hard to decide. Uh, I don't dislike any of his albums. I like every single album that he's made. Um, so it is very hard to pick a favorite because if you like him for like years and listen to all of his music, uh, there are points that you're like, this is my favorite album, uh, and, or like, this is my favorite, and it changes, you know what I mean? Uh, it's objectively, it's probably between Mechanical Animals and Hollywood, and I know that's very cliche. Well, most people would probably say Antichrist, Superstar, or Mechanical Animals, so... Uh, I don't know, but uh, Hollywood's still a part of the trip dike. But I remember there being points that I would say Portrait's my favorite album. I love Portrait of American Family. It's super underrated. Sometimes I said The High End of Low was like one of my favorites. Uh, Pale Emperor has been up there a lot of the times as well. And Born Villain is also very underrated. I know most people say like he fell off and stuff during the early 2000s. Um, but I spent so much time with each of his albums that I kind of grew to like them. So yeah, this is actually awesome album art here. I don't know if this is going to be the album art. Uh, or if it's just for the single either way, it's really awesome looking I love the style he's going for here with uh, all of the imagery that has been coming out with the roses and everything It's very dark and gothic feeling kind of like Hollywood was and he looks insane like the last three years He's like apparently gone sober um, I don't think that counts weed. <laughs> I don't know, but he looks like he did back in like 2007 2005 dude It's insane. All right five and a half minute song. I am super excited for this uh, it's crazy to see that this is real because it's been speculation for so long. Um, but yeah, I've been waiting for this for months. Hey, just real quick, I was able to read the lyrics after recording and I... Uh, really like the vulnerability in the uh, topic of addiction on here. I think this song was very well written and thought out and a lot of work went into this. Um, so yeah, dude, I'm just super fucking pumped, man. Alright, no lyrics available yet. I have no idea what this is gonna sound like, man. Mix sounds great. Crucifixion in space, kind of. This is no longer just my communion. The worms of the flesh have turned. With all the sacrifices I swallow. Oh, his voice sounds great. This might be the best mix he's ever had. Wow, his voice is gorgeous. He's really uh, a little different vocal style. The atmosphere in the mix is just incredible. Oh, the synth. I 
love the synth, man. Wow. Very. I hate to say grungy. Very 90s. Oh, this synth reminds me of mechanical animals. I love that. Kind of heaven upside down, pale emperors with this, the swagger and the groove of the song. But I love the production. This might be the best he's sounded in a very long time. All right, where's this bridge going? Oh, the production, man. I, I... That vocal sounds like uh, Antichrist Superstar. Like Cryptor Kid. Actually, Hollywood. This was the teaser. So is that gonna transition into another song on the album? Okay, dude. Wow. The his vocals sound incredible i mean he definitely a little bit cleaner in the voice uh more vocal control probably um like since i mean eat me drink me but especially holy uh not hollywood uh high end of low uh his vocals in like born villain a little less on pale emperor but still on pale emperor uh and like heaven upside down his vocals you can tell he's either drunk or he just doesn't have the control. He doesn't like, um, I don't know. I, it's like one take and everything. It's like, it doesn't really sound like he's trying very hard to really make a very crisp, um, just really good vocal take. You know what I mean? Um, this is on another level compared to, I mean, I don't know. This sounds very nineties to me. There's things that remind me of mechanical animals with the synth, uh, instrumentally kind of Hollywood mixed with uh, Heaven Upside Down. And the vocals remind me of like the whispery raspy vocals are straight out of Antichrist Superstar. But dude, those vocals during the chorus and like at the beginning, those are like the, the he, like he's actually like really singing with like a, a clean voice. There's no raspiness in there. Um, and that's not very, very common for him. He does it on Mechanical Animal. It's probably the cleanest vocal I've heard from him 
uh, since Mechanical Animals. He's back, dude. I don't know when this fucking album is gonna drop. Um, I hope it's this year. It probably won't be. Um, I'd love if we got, like, a fall or even winter time album from him but i mean in terms of this single just the production alone this production wise this might be the best he's ever sounded um just the production was so good man with the drums and the atmosphere in there that was so fucking sick dude i'm gonna have to listen to it again like immediately uh so i'm gonna get out of here pretty quick he's sober clearly taking vocal lessons uh looks the best he has in like 15 years uh yeah i'm hyped up for this man uh make sure to subscribe for future manson reactions take it check out what i have on the channel as well make sure to check out my description i got a twitch down there if you want to follow me over on twitch uh a couple other links down there as well and uh yeah take it easy man that dude like this is the best that we could have gotten honestly i really feel like this is actually the best case scenario for what music he is coming i i am like speechless right now dude this this song is is actually so good man take it easy